Hey folks, welcome back to the next Let's Play. I gotta get some of these going because I'm starting a new job and holy cow, I'm not gonna have time to do this. So, we are to Jello Alert level zero. We have successfully completed some missions. Let's look at the map here. What do we got going on, on the map? Life is going really good. I'm really happy overall about life. You know, things are smooth. Huh. I don't see, I don't think I'm going to pursue a lot of the side missions. I really think, I th they're not bad side missions, but they're definitely not as fun as, say, Witcher. Witcher still has some of the best side missions ever. Okay, so Bill Williamson wants me to go there, or Hosea. What is Hosea? Um, I guess maybe we'll go do a meetup with Hosea. Let's, let's go do Hosea first. Yeah, let's let's double check that. What is that one? Hold on. Hey, 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 baby. Come on. The fine joys of tobacco. I'll see you folks when we get to the fine joys of tobacco. All right, guys, we are here. I've had some problems with the Lemoyne Raiders, so. Dude, seriously. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Thank you. Thank you for not getting in my way. I'm really trying to make my honor high. I really do want to be a good guy, but sometimes I have a hard time. I make mistakes. But don't we all make mistakes? Isn't this about redemption? Isn't that in the story of the actual game, redemption? I wonder what's this gonna be. Hmm. Ah, please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We we're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper? Bonds, metal... <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. I love Hosea. I love him. Can I drive? Nope. <sighs> God, he's so whiny. Oh, you know what? Can I switch? No, I can't switch it up. Darn it. I was hoping to switch that out for um, a shotgun for up close. We don't have time for this. My God, Sean, shut Let's up. Let's get out of here. I guess we're heading out. I don't even know really what we're doing, but hey. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. Or I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat. And pull it clean out of his ass, the smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. The moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I thinking as hell about, I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really barely so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. 
They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. This is going to go awry. You know it. We all know it. Up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hiding back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> My gun's poking out of the top. I hope they don't notice that. All right. Can't, oh, hey. Whoa. Okay. Um, looking, looking, looking. Looking, looking. Not doing me much good. What, can you look around all the way? I guess not. Ah, we're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Hey, hold it right there. Hold. What you want, boy? I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean, you know, harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. <coughs> okay, I'm kind of surprised uh, it worked. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Uh, straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Ah, oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Uh, right there. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> <clears throat> Quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average... <clears throat> okay. We can hold up in here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. 
You already got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was bar burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Oh my god, I am so awesome. I have been sneaking around here for a while. Dump There's a lot. I have to dump a lot. Like, this is taking a lot of liquid, but that's fine. That is fine. It seems to be working. And they called out my... Called out to see if somebody was here once. Came out looking for me. Never found me. Because I'm being stealthy. It's amazing when I'm stealthy. Alright, is he going to come down this way? Is that what it is? Shit. Okay, I gotta wait for him to turn around. I'll be back. Okay, I think we're doing okay. I'm surrounded by people, but they have not seen me yet. Not yet. Alright, I gotta go meet Sean at the barn. I think that's Sean taking care of that guy. I'm hoping that's the case. Oh, fantastic. Alright, let's loot him while we're here. You go, Arthur. Light her up. All right, here we go again, folks. Let's try not to set myself on fire this time. Evidently, I suck at it. Would you look at that? <laughs> hey, well, let's go loot yourselves a fat cigar. You ain't leaving here. Oh, God. Coming in. All right, Sean Jesus. Hey, it looks like we're doing okay, though. Jesus, that turned into a right party. You call that a party? That right weight had got a money's worth, Arlie. Let's just get out of here first. I think we lost them. That we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Here we are. Home sweet home. You let Hosea know how we got on. Alright, we finished that. What was my share? Does it say? Alright, that was actually not too bad. Oh my god, you guys are so whiny. All right, folks, I think this is where we're going to wrap this up. I will see you next time. I'll load up and get ready to go, and we'll play the next mission next. Until then, take care.